Hello, my name is Imelda and today I will make life simple for all the guys who are watching this video. How? Well, today I'm going to share all the phrases that you're not supposed to speak to or say or ask to a lady. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> not to say to a lady or a girl. You see, women are quite complicated. A lot of people feel that, right? I do. I, I feel the same. But there's certain things that you should never talk about when you're talking to a lady or a girl. The first thing that I have for you is talking about weight. Now, you may notice some of your friends, I mean, she, she might be very close to you and you may not have met her since long time. But once you meet her, it's very common or is it it's quite for you it might be quite okay to ask hey have you put on some weight mm, that's not a good idea to talk about please people women don't like to talk about their weight similarly women don't like to talk about their age so if you don't know someone please do not ask this question how old are you Please, it's considered very, very rude or rather extremely rude to ask a lady's age or a girl's age unless you're filling out a form, okay? Until you do that, please don't ask a lady or a girl about her age. It's rude, okay? Moving back to the weight issue. Have you put on some weight? Yes, as I said, it's not a good thing to say, but there are people, but people use more expressions for this. Are you pregnant? Oh my God, that hurts. Trust me, a few months ago when I, when I just hit the gym and the gym instructor who saw me last and he's like, hey, congratulations, are you pregnant? I so felt like taking off my shoes and throwing one at him. But then I said, no, I'm not. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to lose weight. Okay, so please, people, it's impolite or rather stupid to say, have you put on some weight? Are you pregnant? Hmm, what's wrong with you? You look a little different. Now, don't talk about weight. A lot of people are very sensitive to this. But you know, there are, chance, there are times when people are happy to know that, have you lost some weight? Especially for my previous profession. I was in a profession where women were expected to be slim and trim and nice body and every single person I know or I knew back then everybody wanted to lose weight so that was given as a compliment as have you lost some weight Have you lost some weight? Again, it may sound nice to most of the women, but trust me, some people are very sensitive even about losing weight. Maybe because I am suffering from cancer. No, people lose weight then. So when you are talking such when you're talking about weight, be sensitive. Look around, see how the situation is, and then ask or say something which is more polite. Hey, you know what? You look a little different. I hope everything's all right with you. Oh, thanks, I am, I'm better, good, okay? So keep it simple, do not talk about weight, okay? Similarly, this size. A lot of uh, people have this idea, especially the salesman, if you go to a Gap store or to any fashion store, they say, what's your size? People, if you say this, what's your size? It's actually very rude because some people think you're talking about their Yes, chest size, okay? So be very clear about it and say, what is your dress size? That's okay. But let's say I'm your friend and I have met you after a long time and I'm gonna say, has your size changed? Oops, wrong question to ask people. It's again, goes back to the same thing. Wait, okay? So do not ask about the size. Probably the person lady or a man or a girl would know that their size has changed so to not say you know this is quite common i would ask my boyfriend baby am i looking fat and he would go 
Hmm. Please, that's a wrong expression. Answer is always no, okay? If anyone says, have I put on some weight? Please say, no. Have I put on weight? No. Are you sure? Yes. I'm very sure you haven't put on weight. Okay. Is this dress too tight? No. I don't like the stitch. Maybe the stitch is wrong. The dress is not tight at all. You look, you look fine. Maybe you want to try some other designer, okay? So weight is a very, very sensitive topic. But talking about weight, why are we talking about weight? Because we're talking about looks. Women like to hear compliments. And there is a saying, if you don't have anything good to say to a girl, don't say it, okay? So maybe you want to say, if maybe the person or the f a friend of yours is looking very tired and she had a long day, and you would say, hey, what happened to you? You look tired. Yeah, thanks, I know. Don't say that, okay? Don't, don't get that expression. She already knows that she, probably she's not looking that great today, so don't add on to her misery. Or some people have the habit of saying, oh my God, what happened to you? You look so old. Please, people, women, uh, girls do not want to look old. Maybe you want to use a better word for this. How about mature? Then, for example, maybe you're a director, okay? and you're trying to cast people and you're trying to see uh, what kind of person will fit the role. And you have another, you have a lady who's, who comes up to you and she's, she's doing a great job, but she doesn't look fit for this role because she looks quite old. What's a better way of saying it to her? Hey, Clara, uh, you know, you're doing a great job, but I think you look very mature and sophisticated and we are looking for someone who is naive. Okay, people, especially if you're comparing two women and you want to say one person looks younger and the other person looks old, the right word to you is, uses mature and naive. Hey, Clara, um, I think you look quite mature in this, but we want someone who is very naive looking. Okay, so that's a word that you're not supposed to use. Similarly, what are you not supposed to say about a lady's face? Hey, what's in your face? People, that's something that makes a lot of us very embarrassing, okay? I may have a lot of pimples, I may have a lot of scars, probably I met with an accident, I got some burnt marks on my face. Do not, do not embarrass me or I'm gonna push you from the roof, okay? So do not ask or do not say, what happened to your face? Oh, uh, is there something on your face? Duh, I know it's on my face. Okay, so don't talk about face. Second last thing that you should not be talking is facial hair. You know why? Because my boyfriend, he just happened to say, hey, Imelda, can you just like shave off the mustache that you have? What, what? Ouch, what did you say? I don't have a mustache. No, you do. No, I don't. Yes, so they, people, do not talk about facial hair to a lady. I think it's very embarrassing. Again, it's very embarrassing. It's very rude if you want to talk about her facial hair, okay? Maybe if you're a boyfriend and you want to say uh, to your girlfriend that you don't want to remove the mustache or whatever that facial hair is, you can say, hey, you know what? I really like baby skin. They're so soft. They don't have any hair on their face. It's so nice. By giving a good example and not directly comparing it to the lady, you are hinting that you want her to remove her mustache, okay? And lastly, hey, okay, or hey bitch. I've seen this in the US or in the US. I was uh, sitting at the table and a friend of mine, she just called another waitress. Hey, I swear the entire restaurant just turned around and looked at her and they gave a very bad look. So even if you're a lady, never call another woman or a lady Hey, the better way to use this or the better word to say is, excuse me, miss, excuse me, ma'am. That's a more decent and more polite way to call a lady. And lastly, the bitch. Bitch, yes, refers to the term for a female gender of a dog, right? But a lot of people use this term for women. Do not do it. It's very, very rude. It is, um, it's very uncalled for. 
even if you're very casual, if you're very cool with the person and say, oh, she's my best friend, oh, she's my girlfriend. No, don't use the word bitch. It's extremely disrespectful, okay? So these are the few phrases that you're not supposed to speak or say or ask to a lady. Next time, if you have a friend who is, she's coming over to your home or you're just having a good time, refrain from using these words. Perhaps you just may want to give her some compliment, okay? So, so now we come to the end of the lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with another lesson soon. Until then, have fun learning English. Goodbye.